is a storage medium. In other words, it's a hard drive. You're a walking hard drive, your body. One gram of DNA, this is science, peer-reviewed science, by the way, guys. One gram of DNA, which is enough to put a little tiny drop on the tip of your finger, can store 700 terabytes of data. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, what, you know, etherical data or mystical data. I'm talking about real zeros and ones that make your phone work and make your computer work. Zeros and one bits of data, zeros and ones, can be stored on DNA. So these scientists, uh, the main one, George Church and Cree Shuri, those two actually together, are partners and scientists, they discovered this and they downloaded one of their books, one of their e-books onto the DNA and then they uploaded it from the DNA back to the server again. They was like, whoa, wait a minute. You can encode digital bits of information directly onto DNA and upload it back again. What does that mean? Well, we're, we're walking USB drives, literally. Now here's what's really amazing about that. They then took that same ebook, downloaded it back to the DNA again, and they said, let's see how much we can go. They replicated the book 70 billion times in one gram of DNA. 70 billion copies of an ebook in one gram went of 433 petabytes of data. Think about that. In one tiny drop inside of your body right now, you can store 13.5 billion years of data. Ironically, that's how old the universe is. So, you are the universe. You literally have all the information stored in your body from the beginning of time until this very moment, inside of you. So when people say the universe is in you, it's not just a figure of speech. Like the universe is really in you because all bits of data and particles, all, all bits of, uh, of particles are all recycled over and over. All atoms are recycled. Everything is recycled. You, everything that was here from the beginning is here right now. Nothing's been added, nothing's been removed due to the law of thermodynamics.